In this tutorial, I will show you how to sync objects between two buckets hosted on two different accounts. This will be done using EWS CLI. Let's get started. Here I am on the destination account where the final copy of my source bucket should reside. This is our friend David who will be doing our bucket synchronization. The first thing is to grab the ERN of the user. We will need it later. Now I'm switching to the source account where my original data is hosted. I'm going to create a bucket. I will keep the default options. Next, I'm going to upload a file into that S3 bucket. And now the fun part, I'm going to create a policy to allow my user on the destination account to access this bucket. I will grab the user ERN. I will also need the source bucket ERN. And here is our S3 bucket policy. I'm going to copy that. here and save oh if you get this error that mean you have also to specify the bucket content inside the policy I will edit that quickly and save switching to the destination account now i will have to create an iam policy to allow my user david to access the source bucket and to be able to write to the destination bucket Now let's specify the required actions for the destination bucket.
give the policy a name and save. Now I have to attach my policy to my user David. This is the JSON content of my bucket policy. As you can see, you have all the required actions. Now I will create the destination bucket that will host my synchronized file or my copied file. I will also keep the default options. Now, to sync or copy data between the two buckets, I will use the EWS CLI. The EWS CLI is configured with the user David credentials. First, I will verify that I have access to the source bucket. I will do the same for uh, the destination bucket also. And now let's start our sync operation. Good, the file was successfully copied. We can now see it on the destination bucket. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.